<laughs> huh? Why do men have deeper voices than women? According to a research, during prehistoric times, males had to fight for females. So deeper voices allowed them to appear more intimidating and dominant, thus scaring their opponent away. Now, let's see how this deep voice is produced. The size of larynx or voice box is greater in males as compared to females. Hence, the vocal folds or cords present within the larynx lengthen as well as thicken. As a result, when males speak, the folds vibrate less per second, thus producing a deeper voice. What is mpox? Simple. When monkey eats a pox, he becomes an mpox. Oh, chum-pum. Monkeypox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes smallpox. Its symptoms are similar to smallpox but milder. Symptoms of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox is rarely fatal. Hmm. Why do humans have a belly button? Simple, to do belly dance. Oh, chump pum. When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Do blind people really dream? Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. Oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, People who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house mini needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. What exactly is altitude sickness? I think, I think, I think it might be a burger or a pizza. Oh, chump pum We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. Hmm. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary huh? edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, huh? as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. How is huh? gold formed? Simple. Gold is formed like this. Oh, chum pum. <laughs> gold is produced only when a supernova occurs, as in when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. 
Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring huh? its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. What is the science behind spider webs? Firstly, the spider uses its silk thread to connect both the endpoints, thus forming a bridge. Hmm. Secondly, the spider also ties a loose thread between both the points. Now from the center of the loose thread, it adds a new thread and pulls it to form a Y shape. Hmm. It then joins the three points to form a frame. Then it starts laying radial threads till the web becomes strong enough. Finally, from the center of the web, it starts laying the silk threads spirally, eventually completing the web. <laughs> hmm. What are headaches? No idea. But Chum Pum can give a headache to anybody. Oh, Chum Pum. The pain that we sometimes experience in our upper neck or head is commonly called a headache. Headache is not an indication of our brain hurting. In fact, the brain does not have any pain receptors to experience pain. Headaches are commonly caused due to inflammation or overactivity of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels in our head or neck. Migraine is a common example of this type of headache. Hmm. How do we puke? No idea. Chum Pum never pukes. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm. Does an octopus have nine brains? Yes, but it doesn't use any of them. Huh? Oh, chum pum. An octopus has a decentralized nervous system <laughs> with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, and huh? control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm. What is sleep paralysis? Simple. This is sleep paralysis. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Sleep paralysis usually occurs when we are dreaming in a REM sleep, as in rapid eye movement sleep. Researchers suggest that when we enter REM sleep, two chemicals, huh? as in GABA and glycine, switch off the activity of our cells. This is done to stop us from enacting our dreams and getting hurt. Huh? Hmm. Now, if we suddenly wake up during the REM sleep, but if GABA and glycine are still active, then even though we are conscious, we are temporarily unable to move. This is called as sleep paralysis. Hmm.